So in order to find the total electric flux through the tetrahedron, we have to use this formula right here. So to find the total flux in any enclosed surface, we use this formula, um, the, ch the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught, and we sum all the charges inside the surface. Now, epsilon naught is known as the permittivity of free space, and the value for that is 8.9 times 10 to the minus 12th power. So if we go ahead and solve for part A, we're given that inside this enclosed surface, we only have Q. And we were given that Q was 5.8 microcoulombs. So there's nothing else to sum in here. There's only one. So we'll write that the flux is equal to 5.8 times 10 to the minus 6 coulombs. And we'll divide that by 8.9 times 10 to the minus 12. So get, this gives us that the electric flux is equal to is 651,685 newton meters squared per coulomb. Now to solve part B, find the electric flux through one face of the tetrahedron. So there are four sides of this um, polygon. And for instance, we're interested in one of the faces. So to find the flux coming out of here. So simply, we will divide this value here by 4. So this will give us approximately 162,921 newton meters squared per coulomb for the electric flux through one face of the tetrahedron.